All right, so now that we've got a nice little area here picked out where we want to build, we've got some nice trees, we've got the grass going. We've got a character that we can actually run around in game with. But it's kind of boring, right? We need some other props, maybe some rocks, some houses, just other things in our game besides a few trees. So let me go ahead and turn that sound off. But we're going to want something besides the grass and trees in our scene. So let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at the asset store. This is probably the first place most people turn to when they want to start picking up other assets. And we can go ahead and get to it by going to the Windows menu and coming down to the Asset Store, which is Command 9. We'll go ahead. The first time you open it, it's usually free floating somewhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and dock it. I usually dock it right beside the scene view. I want a pretty big view. And my scene view is usually my largest one in the editor. So if you know the name of the asset pack exactly that you're looking for, you can just go ahead and search for it directly. Uh, but if you don't know and you just want to browse, let's go look at um, maybe some houses. Uh, we have this menu over here where we can drive down. So I'm going to go ahead, Models, Environment. Uh, what kind am I looking for? Might actually be under Props as well. But I'm going to stick with Environment. Now some of these might be too big, so you do have to pay attention. I'm going to go for, uh, let me see here. Let's go for something historic looking. I want free. And here we go. We have some medieval houses. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead, click that. And of course it's free, so we're going to go ahead and click it. It's going to go and download and add it to our list of assets that we've already purchased, which you can access through this link here. Depending how many you have, it may take a while to load. Looks like it's already done downloading and it's importing into my project. So it'll only take a couple seconds. All right, here we go. So this is everything that's included with it. And I am actually going to go ahead and grab it all. I want all the PNGs. These are your, these are your textures. We have a material, we have a few materials. There's no scripts is what I'm looking for. No, nothing that's going to change our settings. So we have a prefab. Looks like it's just one house, and that's fine. And of course, it does come with a demo scene. I'm not going to keep the demo scene. I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't need it in this package. Uh, feel free to go ahead and include it and click on it and take a look. But that's all I want. So I'm going to click Import. And I'm going to pick a place to actually place my house. Um, maybe right here. Here looks good. Actually, I want it facing away from it. So I'm going to place it right here in this little sunny area. So we have to go ahead and find it. Luckily, it's right here. We don't have that many assets. It's not too hard to find. So it's in the models, and we have two of them here. We have the untextured and then the textured one that's, I guess, the prefab version. So I'm just going to take that, drag it into my scene, drop it right there. And I'm going to rotate around, just trying to find the front. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lighting off. It makes things a little bit easier. All right, so I want to move this over here a bit. I definitely don't want a tree coming up through it. But we've taken a look at how to get rid of that if it does happen. And I want it facing, I want that to be the backyard, probably. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this. Well, it's already rotated on the Y. Let's go ahead and get rid of the rotation. Let's see which way it's facing. Maybe have it facing this way. But you get the idea of how to change the rotation. Oh, negative nine. Maybe a bit more. But finding things to place into your game and then putting them in and Adding life to your scene is so easy. So that's the asset store. Now, of course, there is a few other things to it. If we go back to the home, if you're not logged in, go ahead, log in. Uh, you can actually buy stuff. At this point, I would discourage it though. Just try to stick to the free stuff. You're just learning and there's just so much out there to learn with. But anyway, that's it. That's the basics of the asset store. Let's go ahead and find a few more things. I think I want to rock. Uh, we have some vegetation. We could grab more trees. Here's the speed trees, all the different speed trees. I don't think there are any free ones, but there are packages. 
course, you could grab non-speed trees. I'm sure there's some free ones of those. Uh, here we go. There's lots of them, actually. But anyway, go ahead and pick up some rocks and some other props for your scene. Make a nice little cozy nook somewhere on your island. Go ahead and make a video, upload it, and shoot it over here as a reply. And let's uh, see what everyone made so far.